We've got the FTM 200 up on the bench following some warranty work. Came back day before yesterday and it says that the main assembly was replaced. So with that, I felt it was a good opportunity to put it up and see what the transmission output power, how close to specs or advertisement it's supposed to be. On Yesu's website, they state that it's a 50 watt transceiver and on UHF, it is supposed to transmit from 430 to 450. On VHF, it is supposed to transmit from 144 to 148. This is the USA version. So we'll go through a couple of power levels we will be transmitting. This is the FTM 200 that will have a two foot RG58 jumper into the Bird 43. And from there, it'll go over another two foot jumper into a 100 watt 50 ohm decibel dummy load. So there'll be no other variations to it. It's on its own power supply. 13.8 volts. Starting off, we will go with, let's start with UHF. We'll go in the high end of the power on the low end of the band. So we now put in a 50 watt 440 slug. As you'll see on the radio, mid high power. This is the lowest part that is advertised to transmit on the highest power level. So this should be, they state 50 watts or close to. So this is into a dummy load, so I will not be identifying during this process. So I'm keying up on high power on the lowest frequency that this radio is set to, to transmit on. And we are putting out, out again, out of a 50 watt slug or scale, we're about 41 watts. There'll be some discrepancy by the angle of the camera, but we're putting close to 41 watts. Okay. We'll drop it down to middle power, same frequency. And again, we're on the 50 watt range. Just about 20. I believe that's where it's stated or advertised to be. Again, 430 megahertz. Low power, going backwards, there it says low power. And almost four watts, almost four watts. So not bad, not bad. Now we'll go to the highest part of the band, which will be 450 megahertz. 450, yep, it will let us do it. So let's go to high power. So at 450 megahertz on high power, a little bit stronger, give or take about 46 watts. And I'm reading it straight on, you're seeing it slight angle so that we can do this while recording. We'll go down to middle power, 21 watts, 21 watts. So not bad there. And low power at the highest part of the UHF band, about four watts. I could, for further accuracy, switch out slugs than I have been, but for this video, we're gonna get right to the point. We will go to VHF, so we have a VHF slug, we will use a 50 watt slug. All right, so on the website, it states 144 megahertz is the lowest it'll transmit. So we will start off with high power as we did previously. High power, there we go, apologize. There, high power. So again, looking straight on, about 46 watts, about 46, because 50 would be all the way. We will go to middle power. 21, 21 and a half watts. Low power. About three and a half watts, a little soft on that against advertising is what I should say I'm comparing to. We will go to the highest part of the VHF band for the USA version, 148 megahertz. So high power. Forty-five, forty-six 46 watts, 47, it's about 47 watts. Middle power. Again, advertised for 20, 
Good. 22 watts. Low power. Advertised 5. 3.5. 3.75. So all of them fairly close to the same. I'm going to call it a curve. For curiosity, I'm just going to put in a 5 watt slug and run over the UHF low power and VHF. Starting with VHF. All right, we'll put in the appropriate slug. Make sure we're on low power since we have a five watt slug. Now being a five watt slug, five watts should be all the way up to the top. So for accuracy wise, four, four and a half watts, putting in the other slug on low power VHF. 144 megahertz, same low power test. Just about the same. And we're going to backtrack a little out of order. I didn't plan to do this, but now my curiosity got this. So we will go to UHF on a 5-watt slug just to check the low power for further accuracy. So we will go to 430. Make sure we're on low power. Yeah, with a, not quite four and a half on that one, on the low end of the UHF. And a 400, what is it, 450. I don't ever transmit up here, so. Make sure we're on low power. So the highest part of the UHF band on the lowest power level. So that's pretty close. That's four and a half, 4.75. So scientific, no. Curiosity, yeah, now we have a reference range. So I hope this helps for everybody. Find it interesting? I sure did. So have a great day, everybody.